What's going on with Pulse Chain? And people are asking, why so many shit coins? What's going on? Why poopy coins? What's going on, friends? I, I know it is a revelation for most people to see, but I've got to spell it out for you because a lot of mid-curvers and mid-curve ideas, they are still permeating through everywhere. And that's how I know I'm still early to what we're doing. And what's been happening, friends, is obviously we are enjoying, say, dick with butt memes and all these other memes having fun and adventure for Bitcoin halvenings in the making. Yes, dick with butt, okay? And friends, look, I'm just I'm going to share with you a comment from someone. So shout out to Mr. USA Flag collecting BTC. He's asking this, right? Look, he says, why are all the Pulse influencers all of a sudden shilling Pulse chain alts? Y'all want the people to exchange their core Richard Hart coins at the bottom for poop called dick with butt. Come on. So I'm going to assume, sir, maybe you're a Bitcoin maxi and you are going to feel the wrath of an alt season in the next six to 12 months. And it's going to make you probably regret having that opinion, but that'll be the very, very end. But for everyone else, friends, I want to ask you this, okay? So I've asked Mr. USA, so this is a rhetorical question, right? Like, let me ask you this. Why did you watch five months of product market fit demand appear on Soylana and Coinbase and continue to ignore it? Why did you watch it for five months? Literally five months, the memes still aren't zero. They still have valuations. Dog with hat is still almost 3 billion valuation. Sure, it might reset and do some rinsing, but there's a million daily active users on Soylana. A million. You think that's an accident? They're still there. They're not moving and bridging around. Right? So if you look at this and you say, oh, well, all of them are poop and they're going to rotate to my coins, I'll have to use the D word, you're a dinosaur. You're a dinosaur at this point. That's what XRP community says. That's what literally every single old community says. They all say that. No adoption. They go, if anybody, everybody just finally saw us, they would come in. Guess what, man? A lot of people have already seen a lot of the chains. They have. You see? So we have to think about this. Well, I have thought about it. I don't really care. I'm not trying to convince anybody. I, I'm giving the people what they want. They want to be early. They want to be in something that makes them laugh, entertaining, or that hits them differently, a different type of DeFi coin. So they just want to be early, man. They want to be on a journey. They want the journey to go well. They don't want to join the end of a moving it dumped on three years later. So Dog with Hat itself, by the way, friends, flipped the entire Pulse Chain ecosystem in five months. That's right. One coin. Dog with Hat hit $4 billion valuation. Today, it's about $3 billion. Pulse Chain is like 2.7 to 2.6. So Dog with Hat, right, and it's still doing lots of volume per day, doing more volume than PulseX, trading volume a day. Isn't that nuts? Crazy. So... I'm not sure though, right? It, I'm going to show you these charts though. I, I mentioned it to, here to our friend here. If you look at PulseX friends here, okay, PulseX, Richard Hart had to literally, okay, manually force $14 million with the SAC funds into this price here. He had to manually force it and we still rejected down 80%. All right, so look at this. We dropped down 79%. Think about that for a second. Like somebody had to put in $14 million and it still dropped 79%. Showing you the market thought it was too expensive still at that point. So a lot of these, I guess, influencers, everyone's just, everyone's being let down. They're being let down because they don't know any better. I don't, it's not malice. It's not them just like being bad. It's just because they're just, they don't know how to adapt. Markets are not for everyone, friends. That's why you're going to learn by the end of this cycle why only the 5% of people win. You're going to see that. Look at Pulse Chain, for example, as well, friends. Pulse Chain is still down 40% below day one sacrifice. And literally, we're coming on to the three years since. And by the way, that's not even the real chart, okay? That's, that's, the, that's the cheat mode chart. The real chart is it's actually down 91% in a year against Ethereum. So it's bleeding against Ethereum. So it's, it's being... So this is the actual real ETH beat, uh, pulse ETH ratio. It's down 63% against ETH. Actually, it's more than that because pulse chain, because since July 2021, Ethereum is almost a double 
2x higher, and Pulse Chain is 40% below the um, 40% below the sacrifice price. So what do, what do you do at this point? Every community events. Here's a, here's a, here's a, the good thing is though, Pulse Chain community, they are actually trying. We are actually they're trying. They're doing stuff. These other communities aren't friends. They're barely doing it. Avalanche is trying. They've got a, literally a meme coin fund. There are other ecosystems trying. Not everyone is trying based off like how low the valuations are in Pulse Chain. Like they're really, really trying. And not trying like, oh, you're trying. No, no, no. Actually like succeeding, making great stuff. We know they're making great stuff. Okay, so Pulse, PulseX, and Hex Core coins, they aren't moving. So people are just enjoying playing a lottery ticket. Like, I mean, as well, friends, it's 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 vicious, man. It's vicious to see that Hex is down 98% still. 98%. Wow, it's down even lower now. Wow, it's crazy. Yeah, down 98%, man. More than 98%, 98.3%. Right? And if, if you want to make it look better, you look at the combined Hex price, which is about 98%. So... What do they do, man? The influencers have let everyone down. They've let everyone down. So I'm not here, friends. Remember, I'm I'm not here to sell a product. There's nothing. There's no indicator. There's no coercion. There's none of that. I don't have. I don't have a service to sell you. There's no mastermind. There's nothing. There's just okay. What do I do? My nothing. It's just I'm just teaching you. I'm just sharing information out here for somebody out there who may or may not be a squirrel like me who wants to hold their own nuts or ovaries and who just wants to listen. That's it. I'm just putting good stuff out to the world. This is what I see. This is what I see, friends. So I'm seeing these prices down, but it's not just isolated to Pulse Chain. Yes, Chainlink and like and and BNB and Cardanzo and XRP and all the layer two chains, Optimism, Arbitrum. Yeah, man, they're all getting butchered. They're getting butchered as well because Ethereum's just down. That's it. So Ilana has taken a big part of the product market fit as well. So, friends, a lot of people they're just playing on Pulse Chain. And it, it is what it is. So what we've actually, this is it's a discovery. It's a discovery. Now, the words I'm going to use, I have to use these words because I am a visionary thinking out into the future. And people who are mid-curves, they're just thinking now. And they're thinking, they always get things wrong. So what, what do 95% of people say today? 95% of people are saying, meme coins are going to zero. They're all a bunch of fluff. They mean nothing. Okay. And I'm like, Wow. What a brave comment. Only uh, 99% of people agree with you. All right, so 99% of, that's the mid-curve approach. The mid-curve, you're in the middle of a bell curve. You, by definition, you never win. You are the crowd. The crowd believes meme coins are going to zero. It's all going to reset. It's all done. All right, but then your friend Sami says, um, no, we've actually made a new discovery here. Meme coins are just putting culture in the real world, and stamping it on the blockchain. That's what they are. There is no technology, though. It's up to the creativity and the passion of each community to do so. It's an open canvas. Now, here's the thing. Open canvas is literally what you're in here for crypto, right? You're here to start on a blank piece of paper early and for it to grow large. In a nutshell, you want to buy a small market cap and you want to ride it for the whole journey, don't you? Yes, market cap does matter. I know, friends, that's it. The market's basically saying, hey, this stuff is too heavy. We don't have millions of dollars that can keep chewing up all these offers. In that. We know that, man, we know that. And what we've actually seen with Dogecoin and SHIB is even in a full cycle rotation, there is a floor where people just won't sell the meme coin. They won't give up on that network and ID. They believe in it. So... Obviously, everyone's going to say, believe in me, believe in me. We're putting all the coins. Okay, yeah, here's the thing, man. I've just shown you three horrific charts, right? Three horrific charts. So, like, when I show you the ones that are winning, you can't call people, like, silly or call them, like, like or, or stupid for, for being in here, right? So, this is, like, P-Dite. Look at this chart, my gosh. P-Dite, right? The P-Dite to $1 narrative. Remember, friends, everything starts as a meme. You know, whether it pegs to another, you know, it's so controversial. Who cares, man? It's strong. That's all I see, dude. That's all I see is strength. You see that? Strength. Look at it against the pulse. Let's look at the pulse ratio as well. Strength. Look at that. That is huge strength. My gosh. Look at that, man. 15x. 15x against pulse, friends. We can go on and on and on. HOA. Let's look at it also against pulse. Look at this, man. 
Look at this. This is nuts. From here all the way up. There's 100x against Pulse. 100x. Let's put it back to a regular chart. Look at this, man. When I cover, I covered it here. Smash. 10x against Pulse, man. Let's spin the helicopter hat. Let's spin the helicopter hat. Let's play some nice pump music. I mean, we can go on and on and on, friends. I mean, they're just, we're just getting started with this. You saw Hexy Bastards 9-inch, right? All of the whales capitulated. We dropped down. Bang, here he is. By the way, 9 inches of governance token. It's not even a meme. I'm just showing you. Look at all this stuff that's... All of this is happening. I mean, and, and look at this, man. Look at this. Peach. Look at this chart. Look at this. Look at this. Regular chart. You, look at this. Regular chart, friends. It's a freaking regular chart. On and on and on. I mean, you want to see the you want to see the one the great the demons, friends. This is, this is the bear. The bears see these demons in their nightmares. Dick with butt. See this, friends. By the way, this is like up at two hundred x. Let's put the market cap just so you can see and appreciate this. Yes, we're not doing this accidentally, man. All right. So once again, friends, I don't have to convince anyone. I know what the people want. All right. When Steve Jobs brought out the iPhone, he did not tell people. Um, word to word. Hey, you don't actually want more buttons on your phone. You actually want no buttons. You want it simple. You know, no one said they don't want any buttons. They said they want more buttons. He said, no, you don't. I'm going to give you what you want. That's how these things happen. You have to show them out there to the world and something stick or not. You can't just write this out. You got to throw it out there. That's what happened, man. That's what I noticed, friends. I, I observed. So I didn't come here and tell people, you're going to like P-Dye. You're going to like Dick with Butt. You're going to like Na 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 and Peach and Pear, Rick Ross Pear or PPAP, Pineapple Pen or Orange Man Good, Donald Trump. You're going to like him, right? By the way, another one as well. Orange Man Good, just to show you, right? Just to show you. Look, if these were just pump and dump, friends, if they were pump and dumps, look at this. Look at Orange Man Good. Okay. If this was a pump and dump, he would have just died here. Let's put on a regular chart. It would have just died. That's it. Okay, you launched. The insiders are dumping. It's over. Okay. If you're a pump and dump, that's it. You're done here. You're done. Here's your burst. Okay, see you later. You're down 60%. Okay, now you go down. Whoop. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. See that? By the way, it's only 1.3 million market cap. Friends, there's obviously there's stuff bubbling beneath the surface. I'm not even, I'm not telling people what they want. I'm just, I'm showing you. Hey, have you guys noticed this is what you guys like? Friends, it's literally like a parent going to the child and the child doesn't know anything about the world. And the child, you say to the, the child, hey, hey, son, daughter, have you noticed that when you come home from a long day of playing in the fields that you're smelly and you need a shower? Have you noticed how when you go and like, you know, you play in the park, you go play soccer with your friends for five hours. Have you noticed how when you come back, you get hungry? You see, see these observations? See, the parent doesn't tell the people, tell, tell the kids, you're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry. Some parents do. Ah, you're hungry. They don't say that. They gave you notice. See, it's observations, friends. That's what I'm doing. Finding patterns. That's what we're here to do in markets. That's why it's a moving target. Finding patterns. That's why in, um, in markets, heart surgeons and engineers and people who are like, you know, are really used to the same formula of stuff, Traditionally, they're not good investors whatsoever because in, in their fields, they learn something specific. Here's a formula. Here's a method. Here's the medicine. Here's how we build a bridge every single time. The laws of physics do not change. But in our world, schizo world, crypto, markets, investing, speculation, the rules of the game are always changing. Okay, not all the, the fundamental rules, but you get the point, right? It's the adapting. The season's always changing. The season is changing. Sometimes it's a season you never even knew existed. It starts raining dick with butts. You see what I mean? You got to be ready. You have to be ready. So I'm just pointing out these observations here to you and I understand everyone's confusion. Yeah, friends, I did not think, look, you asked me a year ago, I did not think meme coins were going to come early and they were going to pop up this much. I thought memes were going to be an end of cycle, end of times signal. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what everyone thought. That's what the whole market priced in. Okay. Market's wrong. Once again. Okay. They literally completely discounted. But you, you got to remember, why did memes do well? It's because the technology coins that you want to buy, like like Igon Layer or Arbitrum, Layer 2 Chains and Decentralized Penises, Physical Infrastructure, the stuff and AI, the stuff that you want to get in, 
the market caps of them start too big. They're too expensive. The journey's not there. There's no journey. They're telling. So what they do, friends, they work the opposite. I am showing you, right? We you me, right? I show you a dick with butt like this. Okay, look at this. Having this fun, friend. Okay. Peppy used hug. Okay. By the way, his name is a poo, but we just use Peppy because everyone recognize it. You see, friends, all these fun parts. I show you this dick with butt. Look at this. Yay. See that? It sells itself, man. It sells itself. It's on Pulse Train. I don't have to do anything. I can see it sells itself. And all the other ones, these weird, unique, culture, P-Dye mystery sells itself. Have you noticed that? P-Dye to $1 sells itself. Now, here's the thing. The onus is on you to capture the imaginations of everyone else to get yourself in. If Pulse Chain, Pulse X, and Hex are now cycle two narratives, they're, they're, it's, it's hard, man. As you age, it gets hard. And here's the thing. Yeah, in four or five years, maybe no one's talking about any of these meme coins. Sweet. Okay, when that comes, we'll figure that out. But for now, today... They're important today, right? That's the most important thing. You get to see all of this playing out in real time. They, they, I don't have to tell people this thing is cool. I don't. I'm like, hey, man, this is making me laugh. And there's a lot of action and energy. I'm, I'm reporting on people and I'm observing other people naturally feel like they want to do that. Naturally feel like they want to post more, make videos, make tweets, make GIFs, have fun with it. All right. Also, Richard Hart likes the dick with butt meme, by the way. He's posted it before. You see what I mean? Dick butt. So th there's many others out here that are all having fun. That's what it is. Everyone's putting this culture and just these, this entertainment stuff, putting it, slamming it onto the blockchain. And yes, of course, friends. I remember Sir Ivan the Great, he said, guys, guys, it's going to get stupid because we're going to get this saturation of memes up. Yeah, of course we are. Can I tell you something right now? You are now literally on the polar opposite end. The technology coins are literally there right now. No one can see it but me. Well, everyone's starting to see it after I've been like making videos about it. Like, hey guys, you know how everyone's been saying meme coins are going to get saturated and stuff? Well, guess what? All the technology coins from the VC inside a grifter scum, they are saturated. The market is adapting by adjusting its prices. Either the technology coins have to drop 95% to a fair value for us to get in, or meme coins have to go up to make them look cheap again. That's it. Now, how high they go up for how long, I don't know. I'll never know, all right? I'll never know. That's that's like, hey, I don't know. How long is a piece of string? How long is it going to rain for? No idea. You're just guessing. But I'm just showing you on, on average. And you get to see it, friends, because if you just look at their market caps, you're like, okay, you got a cool tech, but you're worth $9.8 billion. You have all these insiders. I'm sorry. I just don't care about you. You're figuring out the journey now, friends. It's See, the tech part is important. It's an, it needs something for people to believe in, but it doesn't solve for the demand side. They have Because you don't need their tokens, man. What do you actually need their tokens for? They say you do, but guess what? Someone else can copy paste it and dilute your bid. So yeah, you can make a technology. We need your token. All right, sweet. Five other teams are going to copy paste and dilute the bid for your token in your utility. Just like if you make a hammer, friend, that's the thing, okay? Revelations from Sami. If you make a hammer... You're the only guy who's made a hammer and we live in a village together. Okay, I need your hammer. I'll pay anything for it. All right, sweet. When everyone starts to see that hammers are in demand, guess what? Five people start making hammers. Ten people make hammers. Then, then people start selling hammers and everyone has a hammer in their home. You see? But what you that, that's the technology in crypto. Technology, we need it. It's beautiful. They're here for one wave. Don't, don't think they're not. They're here for just one cycle because they know they can get copy-pasted. These tech people know, friends. They know they can get copy-pasted. But what you can't copy-paste is the community. Your friend Somi here has made thousands of videos, and I've been telling you the community is the asset, not the code. The community is the asset. Guess what, man? Unfortunately, the community makeup of a lot of these core coins, they have not been able to buck the trend or break the cycle. They're still at the mercy of Ethereum. Their product market fit is not capturing the hearts and minds of the existing people in crypto right now. It's meme coins. Now, don't go just go FOMO buy any meme coin. That's why, man, you have an advantage, friends. Like, we know not, once everyone starts to see what's the greatness of, like, the Pulse Chain meme coins and they start to have fun, right? They get to see all the journey and the stories in there. I think they're going to change their mind. That's what our speculation is. We're here to bet. Now, of course, friends, you're seeing all these, you're seeing this Donald Trump stuff, Orange Man Gold. So congratulations to everyone in there, right? Just showing you as well, look, at the end of the day, we don't know where, all, where any of this ends. We don't know. But so far... How I've been able to put the pieces of the puzzle together, they, they, it seems to be very apparent that 
Even though meme coins like Doge do absolutely nothing and SHIB and everything else, the meme coin sector is still 60 billion with a B. It's 10% of all altcoins. It's bigger than privacy. It's 10 times bigger than privacy. It's not an accident. It's not an accident, man. Everything is just a meme and ID. Everything. So for the Pulse Chain community and everyone else, Pulse Chain community is doing amazing. They're, they're literally, for instance, the Pulse Chain community is actually launching all of these things. These other communities aren't. They're all wasting their time in the tech stuff. You see? So it, it's a tough place to be in. That's why, man, I'm, I'm, I said what I do, 90% core, 10% lottery, because guess what? At least like you're throwing stuff in and it makes sense. Like, you know our friend Trevon? Friends, you know Trevon James? Trevon! Friends, Trevon made 2,000X. He put in $10 into a lottery ticket. He made 20 grand. Yeah, and he's even got it on screen, friends. Here he is. $10. He just, he just put in 10 bucks. And guess what? He actually posted the video, the stream. Shout out to Kinetics, KNTX. He went on the, he went on Trayvon's stream. He said, hey, this new coin launched out. GIF. And he's like, GIF? What's this? He threw in 10 bucks. Lottery ticket, man. Lottery ticket. See that? What a story. What a story. That's what tends. That's what keeps people in the game. That's what sells stuff. It, that's a meme. By the way, Gifford, it's not structured as a meme, right? It's using the buy and burning, trying to help the arbitrage and helps Icosa and all this other stuff. So shout out to them, everybody. That's, see, he did something different. See, friends, you gave him the journey. You can't replicate that, man. You can't replicate that. I, I don't even have GIF, friends. I didn't, I didn't know it until it went up. But I'm just telling you already, I care more about GIF already as an ID rather than like, oh, we have new technology for crypto at $10 billion market cap. Where's the journey? Because they can't tell you about the journey. You know why? Because their journey of the VC insiders is they gave themselves the coins. They gave you and I the public nothing. And that's their journey. Their journey is they get to dump. And when they finally dump, then you see them on Forbes and stuff out there saying, how, how I made $100 million in tech. I minted a coin. I dumped it for everyone. And I'm not around in the second cycle. A lot of the DeFi founders did that, by the way, from 2020. Very, very sad story. A lot of them, you know, that's, that's the type of stuff you got to look at, friends. See, this is the journey. You can't get this journey. It was a fluke. Now, friends, of course, the odds of you finding that is literally nearly impossible. We know that. But the idea is what matters, man. The idea is what matters. You understand? People want hope. It's a narrative. It captures, it moves them, captures their attention. Community is the asset, not the code. So until we can solve for all of these and the crypto industry is going to keep moving, until we're going to solve it, this thing is going to keep happening. Usually with these, remember friends, when I, when I, know, I know from myself, okay? Now, I am an early guy. I'm early. I know I am early to many, many, many stuff. It doesn't mean I'm better than anyone else. I just know I'm early. Some people are good signals. They're late. Do you understand? They're late. I'm an early guy. So the fact that I've figured this out and I could see this coming and now it's starting to appear, I think there's a lot long, long, longer to go for this personally because I still see doubters everywhere. I still see doubters. No one gets it yet, friends. You know, you know why no one gets it? Because the people who are talking about this on average are influencers who are given the expensive token technology allocations for their ICOs. They're paid not to see it. It's incentives. They can't possibly imagine people storing value in a dick with butt or a na-na-na or a peach or an orange man good or a Donald Trump coin, right? Or P dies $1 mystery or teddy bear or a tropa Ixon. They can't possibly imagine that. You know why? It's because they got given a $50 million market cap entry into these VC tech coins and now they're trying to open them at $1 billion starting. They're already 20x on site. So they look at themselves in the mirror and goes, oh, wow, I'm a genius. I'm so good. No, bro. You just got a big audience. That's what you got. You're not a genius. You know what I mean? They, they gave it to you. Well, guess what, man? The people always win. We win in numbers. We are the network effect. One guy winning, one influencer winning because they got given the allocations. Okay, sweet. Bye-bye. We don't care. See you later. We'll make our own meme coins. We don't need that. That's our technology. Our technology is making culture. So slowly, more and more people are starting to see this. Trust me, friends. I would love to go. If there was any other chain that is doing this, let me know, friends. I want to buy the meme coins out there. I've heard about Phantom. Show me the meme coins, man. Throw them out to me. I want it to, I want it to hit. 
Not, oh, well, you're the 15th dog coin on, on Coinbase. Golly gee. So, look, what I think is happening is smart hands, strong hands, the market is pricing in a Richard Hart alt season by buying the effective meme coins now. That's what I think is actually happening. Now, if you speak to any person out there, if you speak to any individual person, you pluck them out and you ask them this, they will not say that. But it's just your friend Simon looking at everyone as a collective. I go, I see what the market's doing. The market is getting into the strong meme coins now because it knows, right, it's pricing it in. If Richard Hart forces an alt season in the future, this is the stuff they're going to buy. They're going to buy these things going up. Are they going to make their own coins? They're probably not even going to care. They're not going to care. They're going to buy the most popular stuff. They, friends, they bought Dog with Hat at 1 billion valuation, still went to 4 billion. See what I mean? And they kept making meme coins. So all of it happens. New stuff gets made. The existing stuff keeps going up. The strong stuff keeps staying sticky. Now, the best part about the Pulse Chain ecosystem, man, is like Snack is 75 million markup on Cardanzo chain. All right, dog we've had hit four billion. See what I mean? See the potential out here, these, these valuations. So that's what the market's doing, friends. The market is pricing this stuff in, and as we move forward, it'll continue to price it in. Now, some things will fall off naturally. Remember, I told you, I this is what I do, not financial advice, but I tell you, assume 30% of coins are rugs. That's it. Assume 30% of rugs. Hell, make it 50. Assume 50% of them are rugs. So you never go all in. Everything's 50-50. Do you understand? You will get hit. You will take hits. Your job and my job is to figure out what's going to be sticky. That's it. What's going to be sticky? So there you go, friends. You ever wonder who you're going to sell on? Who are you going to sell on? Where's the market eventually going to go? That's where they're going to go. It's going it's, Friends, you're going to be selling on those desperate people who have not retired yet deeper in the cycle. When they see Richard Hart rotating a billion dollars of money in, and now they're forced to come in, okay? They're forced to buy the core coins. They're forced to buy the meme coins, Dickwee Butt, HOA, Na Na Na, Teddy Bear, all these other stuff. They're forced. Whoever's around, whoever's still prominent, they're forced to buy them because they're so desperate. It's the fee. Why are they really forced? But it's their fee. Fear. I'm missing out. The cycle's been playing. I'm not retired yet. Sweet. That's who our exit liquidity is. Do you understand? Otherwise known as... Non-believers. We are the believers. You understand? Everybody in early in every chain now pretty much a believer. Your goal is to hold until the non-believers start to get in. When the non-believers are in, they are the haters of Richard Hart today. They are the haters now. Okay? Learn this. Why was Pulse Chain and PulseX very expensive in 2021? It's because Richard's marketing, he talked a big game and he got all the haters in. There was too much money. There were too many non-believers put in. Remember the example, friends. Everybody tried to be early. No one's early because you even had the haters get in. People who who faded him the whole cycle, they finally get in. Okay? So we, we might see it at the end. People who faded Pulse Chain the whole time we might finally bridge in and buy our lovely Pokemon meme coins and participate. And that's when we know, aha, you guys aren't believers at all. And you're all going to dump on me later on at the lows when I need you to hold. That's when you're going to have to be taking profit and doing the irrational thing of like, man, I, I love this chain. I've been this the whole time, but I just don't trust these people that are along with us up here. Remember, they're not here now. They're not here now. The prices will be higher, right? I, I hope the prices are very, very high. I hope we're looking at like a, a 30X day one sack pulse chain. or whatever. I hope they're really, really high. I don't know where it's going to be. Just be prepared for anything. Also, be prepared for our continued friendship. Like, subscribe, belly button, all. Highest value content in crypto. Not even close. Catch you soon.